The leather jacket, the ultimate example of rugged masculine style. But did you know that if you don't take care of your jacket properly, you can send it to an early grave? Stains fading and even cracks will destroy the most well-made leather jacket. But how to take care of your leather jacket? Should you run it through the washing machine, then run it through the dryer? Wrong, don't ever do that. You're gonna ruin your jacket that way. Leather has two enemies, moisture and heat. If your jacket gets soaked and you don't dry it out properly, you let it sit, you can deal with mold and mildew issues which will ruin the leather. Water can also wash away the natural oils in the leather and it can make the leather brittle and prone to crack over time. What about using heat to dry out the leather? Gentlemen, if done improperly, heat can cause leather to shrink and can over dry the leather leading to cracks. Using a heat dryer to dry your leather jacket, laying it across a radiator, or even laying it out in the sun can cause damage. So how to dry a leather jacket if it's wet? One is a wide shoulder hanger. Don't try to use a regular hanger, it will damage your leather jacket. Now, when you hang it up, make sure it's got plenty of ventilation, leave it for about 24 hours and it should be dry. So now let's talk about cleaning a leather jacket because how can you clean a leather jacket if you can't soak it in water? Let me show you. Dampen a cotton rag or microfiber cloth and gently rub it over the leather jacket to remove any dirt or dust. Now, a little water won't hurt your jacket. Soaking it is what really causes the issues. Pro tip, when using water to clean your jacket, use only distilled water. Regular tap water contains minerals that can cause stains of their own. I recommend giving your jacket a quick wipe down like this once every month or two to keep dirt from building up. But what if it's really dirty? What if you got dirt caked on the jacket? What if it looks like you need to throw it into the washing machine? Nope, still don't do it, gentlemen. Now, my favorite product for cleaning leather is saddle soap. It's gentler on leather and it easily cuts through dirt and grime. Now, to get started, what you wanna do is rub a damp cloth over the saddle soap to create a lather. Gently rub a thin layer of the saddle soap over the area that's dirty. Next, remove any excess soap with a damp cloth and let dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Pro tip, remember to spot test any leather cleaning product or conditioner on a small area of your jacket, preferably in a place that no one's gonna be able to see to check for staining. This is important, gentlemen. Now, if you do decide to give your entire leather jacket a deep cleaning, only do this once a year because here's the issue. Using that saddle soap, you're removing a lot of the essential oils on the outside and even some on the inside of the leather, and you're gonna need to replace that. You now need to condition the leather, which by the way, I'm gonna cover later in this video. Now, what about leather stains? Leather stains can be a bit trickier to get rid of, depending on what actually stained the jacket. Now, stains from food and liquids can usually be removed at home, but a bad ink stain, guys, that's gonna probably require professional help. If it's a fresh stain, immediately you wanna use a clean cloth to gently blot as much of the liquid or grease from the jacket as possible. Notice I said blot, not rub in. Now, if the stain still isn't removed, we're gonna level up our efforts here and we're gonna use simple dish soap. Simply mix a bit with water and then you're gonna use cloth to gently dab at the stain with the mixture. Again, we're not rubbing it in, we're not pressing hard. Now, after you've been dabbing away with that soapy mixture, go ahead and wipe it away with a fresh wet cloth. Finally, use another cloth to lightly dry the area. At this point, you're gonna let the leather sit and completely dry for a few hours. Once dried, check to see if the stain is still there. If so, repeat the process again. Now, if the stain's more stubborn, it's not coming out with dish soap you wanna use a stain remover specifically formulated for leather. You can find them out there, tons of brands. Now, every product's gonna have its own set of instructions. For this one right here, for what I'm using, it says to apply it with a sponge and then gently wipe it over the stain in small circles. Now wipe the area with a damp cloth to remove any excess stain remover and repeat as necessary until the stain is gone. Now, at this point, gentlemen, if the stain persists, it's time to take it to the professionals. What you're gonna wanna do is call all the dry cleaners in your area and let them know what the stain is and that it is in leather and ask them if they specialize in dealing with leather products. Now let's talk about how to deal with a leather jacket that has become faded and scratched. Now, leather jackets are gonna fade and develop a patina over time. That's part of their charm. But too much patina from neglecting to care for your jacket, guys, that just looks unsightly. And the worst part is that some of those deep scratches, if not taken care of, can develop into cracks. 
cracks that can create holes right in your jacket and can make the jacket unwearable. So the first step in the defense of your jacket from becoming faded, scratched, and cracked, gentlemen, leather conditioner. What's the best leather conditioner? Down in the description of today's video, I am going to link over to my resources at realmenrealstyle.com where I talk about different leather conditioners and I give you more insight into maybe what you're looking for. So to get started, use a soft cloth and apply a thin layer of leather conditioner over the entire jacket, paying careful attention to areas like the elbows where the stress of flexing is more likely to cause cracking. Now, when you're applying a leather conditioner, you want to apply it in moderation. Let it soak for about 20 minutes. And if you see you applied too much, remove the excess. Now, when's a good time to condition your leather jacket? Anytime you get caught in the rain and that jacket gets wet and you let it dry it out. Also, if you've cleaned the jacket recently with saddle soap, you want to apply a leather conditioner. And of course, don't forget to apply leather conditioner after you've treated a stain, especially a spot stain. When you put that stain remover on there, it didn't just pull out the stain, it also pulled out a bit of moisture. Now, a general rule of thumb is to condition your jacket once a year. But if you rarely wear the leather jacket, if it sits in your closet and it's climate controlled, guys, once every five years is going to be fine. But what if you wear it all the time? It gets wet or you live in a dry climate like Arizona. Guys, I would recommend two to three times a year. Now let's talk about recoloring the jacket. You can actually buy special balm in the color of your jacket. Let's say you've got a black leather jacket. It's starting to lose some of its color. It's becoming gray in areas. You use this balm like a conditioner on the outside of the jacket. Again, making sure to test it in a small area. And you would be surprised about what you can do yourself with these balms to recolor the jacket and bring back its natural shine and look. Now, remember, gentlemen, when it comes to these balms, less is more. Oftentimes, you're going to want to go in small circular strokes and work the balm into the leather. Now, these balms in general work rather quick, but you're going to need to let them dry and then go over and buff. Look at the results and then say, hey, do I want to apply another layer? Maybe you do. And then go for it till you get the color desired. And by the way, I've seen guys do this on their entire jacket when they wanted to make the jacket a slightly different color. They wanted to take a lighter jacket, make it a little bit darker. Again, this is something that you need to spot check, see how it looks, but don't be afraid to have fun with your jacket and go for a different look. So we've talked about repair and recovery, but what can you do to protect your leather jacket from the elements? In my opinion, one of the best products out there is a water resistant silicone spray. This right here is going to do a great job of protecting your jacket. And if you have a suede jacket, this is required. Otherwise, yes, one rainstorm and you can end up looking like, you know, Jerry over at Seinfeld. Yeah, you remember that episode? We don't want that to happen to you. Now, to apply the spray, go in light overlapping strokes until you've covered the entire garment. Make sure you're in an area that's well ventilated and wait about 12 hours until the leather has completely dried after you've sprayed the silicone spray on. So what video to watch next? Gentlemen, check out this video where I teach you how to take an old beat up pair of dress shoes and bring them back to life.